Okay, so one of the questions I keep getting asked a lot is uh, how do I thin axe handles? Now, I've made quite a lot of videos on why I thin axe handles. In short, a lot of modern axes, particularly uh, Grandpa's Bucks, come with very, very thick hickory handles that transmit a lot of shock when chopping. They really hurt your hands and elbow when you're chopping for several hours. And uh, if you want to use them for an extended amount of time, you really benefit from thinning down the handles. So here's the exact same handle I've got on an old axe, it's a grandpa's handle, which I've thinned down a lot. What I really aim for is about 21 millimeters this way by 36, 36 millimeters this way. That's pretty standard for what you find on vintage axes. Um, and it, it's, it's a good starting point. I sometimes do go even thinner than that um, and not had any issues. The one caveat I will say is if a hax has an ash handle, it's less important to go that thin. Ash transfers a lot less shock to, to your arms. So ash is a great wood for when you want a thicker handle, but for hickory you really want to thin it down. It's a lot stiffer and a bit more stingy when you're chopping hardwoods. So how do I do the thinning? I've got various ways. Um, really what I start off by doing is aiming to thin down the sides, um, taking off most of the wood in these portions, you know, between here and, and here. I also focus on thinning up the shoulder a bit and I leave the palm swell to last. The palm swell can be a bit thicker if you want more comfort because your left arm, if you're right-handed axeman, is what controls and aims the axe. This can be thicker. It's basically like a bow in the middle. You want this to be a bit thinner and you can have it a bit thicker up again at the shoulder, but a lot of axes have far too much shoulder to begin with, so you can thin that out a bit more, make it more comfortable. So various ways I do it. If you want a budget, you can actually get by with a pair of scissors or a back of a knife with a, um, a 90 degree angle. You can see it just takes off thin strips. I've not got the scissors open, I'm just using the back of them. And you can see that actually it makes quite good progress. If you can get hold of one, an old spoke shave tuned up works a bit similar. Just a bit better though, a bit faster. The one thing I will say is this goes quite fast, so it's easy to get carried away and um, until you've really refined what form you like, um, go easy with this. Very satisfying though, and a lot faster than the scissors. So this is one I, an old one I bought and sharpened up and got set up by. Another option is the Shinto rasps. These are by far the best rasps for stock removal. They're super, super fast for rasps. This one's quite old and blunt. I've had this for several years and it's got a lot of handles behind it, so it's a bit blunter, but still is miles better than this normal kind of hardware store type. These are okay-ish, but they don't produce as nearly as much progress. However, they do have a flat side, so when you're working around your palm swell, that can be quite good for getting uh, different shapes. The palm swell is really a lot more personal preference to how you do it. You'll find what you like with experience and one thing I will say is 21 millimeters by 36 is a good starting point dimensions but how you how you like your handles will depend a lot on you um, you can go more octagonal uh, more oval more flat I quite like it a bit flatter um, so you will find what you like and the nice thing with handle thinning is it's easier to go and back and take more off than uh, put wood back on so I recommend 
you know, taking off what you think feels good, going and shopping for a couple of hours, and you can bring your rasp with you and fine tune it, and you'll find you will find things that felt good holding the axe don't necessarily feel good actually swinging it. So, you know, it, it will be a learning process, and there's no like magic formula where I can say you want to go, you know you know this angle and this exact oval shape and that's the best for everyone it will be a personal preference thing and tuning up your handle is just part of becoming a better axeman it's uh, setting up your tool to be as efficient as possible for you so basically just keep going with this try and keep it even uh, take it down to 21 mil by 36 adjust the shape whether you want it flatter or more octagonal or rounded and you'll find what you like Another thing I will say about palm swells is I quite like uh, one that's not symmetrical because your hand isn't symmetrical in the way it grips. I do like to adjust mine so they are asymmetrical and I find it works really well. So you can play around with that. Just something I've noticed. So hopefully that answers your questions and uh, if there's any more questions, I'm happy to answer.